Hello everyone, today I decided to make tutorial about collisions in Unreal Engine and also about delegates in Unreal Engine. So let's, uh, let's get started. So let me start Unreal Engine uh, and it's uh, from Epic Launcher. Hopefully it's going to be short tutorial. So cool, Epic Launcher finally launched and let's launch Unreal Engine. So I want to make like a very short tutorial about uh, collisions and delegates. And uh, the reason why I want to do this thing, because I think it's a, one is the most important parts while you're making games. So setting up collisions and like uh, setting up delegates, it's kind of a, uh, essential loop of uh, making the games and uh, if you understand it well it would make easy for you to um, to create uh, games in unreal engine um, so let's create the game and i want to make the blank so it would not distract like all additional content would not distract you from the core idea what i want to uh, deliver and i want to do with c plus plus because i want to make there is not too much C++ tutorials and uh, kind of hard to find and uh, sometimes it's just hard to follow. Lesions. Let's call it call or something like this. Uh, define call. Create package. So C++, no starter content. This thing I'm going to keep untouched. Create project. Okay, finally, it started, it took forever. Oh, it's still running, trying to start Visual Studio. Okay, and what I like to do, I like to close Visual Studio. And uh, let's uh, also disable this thing. So to disable this thing, we go to plugins and I type here VR and then everything was checked, I'm unchecking. Steam VR and Oculus and uh, restart now. So now I can close Steam VR. So here we go. Uh, we have empty project. That's interesting. Scalability. I would maybe keep it like this, so it would not keep. It will keep keep my um, PC cool. But uh, basically, I think it just inherited these settings from my previous project, Maroon. Okay. So we have empty game, and uh, there is a if we depossess our pawn it's going to be just a ball and um, if we possess it back it's anyways so what i'm going to do i'm going to put i'm going to put some object here but uh we need the code for this object right um, and uh, so I, I will try to make it as simple as possible so let's make the new actor so seconds let's go from here new cpp class and it's going to be actor and uh, let's call it just a box i guess project box so i like to um, add project for over overlapping names for example boxes overlapping with engine names so i just add project a lot of uh, tutorials that like a my i don't like too much my so i think like a project is kind of like it says like a this box is a part of the this particular project but I'm not giving the name of the project because I it's easier to move this thing to um, different projects just like I copy paste the source code and it just like works right so this is like my thinking behind why I'm adding project to this thing and not the name of the project like um, like Unreal Engine does and it's like a really hard to rename stuff because like a name of the whole project is just embedded everywhere and just like a duplicate it again and again and again and you have to rename like a million lines of code <clears throat> to to rename the project which is a huge hassle especially like if it's you like a in the half a year of of your project and realized oh name is bad let's rename it and it's like <laughs> sometimes just like not possible to rename okay so it's created project box again i'm closing the um window and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to start emacs and i have like a build scripts so like a maroon have a build script just to make file so what i would do i would copy this make file 
here and uh, rename this thing to call. It's a call, right? Collider. Okay, and now I would be able to compile directly from my favorite editor. So let's go to source code and uh, we have project box. So let's let's just to save time. I like to put like a triangle brackets, but just to save time, not to do this thing. So we have a box here and it's already have like a bunch of code here. So I'm just removing it so it's like command so it would not distract you from the code. So essentially just like a, this code here can precompile it quickly. So what usually I do, I create blueprint class out of just created the class, just created class project box. So like uh, all my C++ classes, they do have, act, uh, they have the blueprint derived from this class. So now I will add a um, mesh to this guy. And uh, I never remember how to do mesh. So what? Usually I do, I just copy this stuff from my previ previous projects. So uh, mesh, oh, wait a second, animal, uh, <coughs> item has mesh. <coughs> and I just copy, copy paste. Um, and then uh, in the constructor, I need to do this thing. So again, copy paste. And we have mesh in C++. So after compiling, I would be able to add the mesh in, in the blueprint. So, um, and what we want, I, we, we just want a box for simplicity. So we, there is a mesh which is coming from C++ and uh, we let's uh, put um, quite, I want some big box. So this is too big, this is, oh, cube, right? Cube, okay, that's better. So yeah, this, this cube is perfect. So compile, save, and now we can, boop, put this cube in the level so I want to level it with this guy and to do this thing you raise the cube and then you press end the button and it will just perfectly uh, get uh, aligned with the with, with this surface um, there is another thing if you want to be aligned with the pivot point right so you can click here and click surface snapping and while you're moving it will snap on the pivot point so you can see it's a half of the cube but i want to be cube just be exactly um not on the pivot point but like touching the this this surface okay <clears throat> so and now this cube in the game and uh, nothing happening here um so i want to set up the collision right um, first i'll do it in blueprint so you will kind of understand the concept what's going on so um <coughs> save all uh, I, I'll just call it un untitled, it's fine, right? So um, in the box, if we select a mesh, mesh has a collider, right? And uh, I already explained what is the collider. So it's, um, <clears throat> it's a shape around the box, which uh, used um, to in interact like a, in a physics simulation. And um, the reason why we have um, separate collider, not like a mesh, because like a, sometimes meshes, they can have like a millions of vertices. I, I mean, it's like a thousand vertices. I don't know, 10,000 vertices. A lot of, a lot of, uh, not vertices, um, a lot of triangles, right? And to do computation on all these triangles, physics computation will require a lot of um, CPU power. So for this reason, we have simpli simplified mesh which called collider and uh, and uh, it's good enough um, for uh, physics simulation, right? Because like if you bumped and it has like a some, I don't know, some geometry, extra geometry here, it doesn't matter too much uh, if physics would not be like a 100 accurate, but it's very important for performance, right? So <clears throat> um, if I open the, so like we have like a, um, let me query, search for, um, ah, you know what we can do? We can just click here, right? So there is a cube here. If we open it, there is a bu button to see the collision. And it's like a, this green line around, it's like a shows the collision um, box. And because this box is very simple, so it's exactly the same uh, collision uh, volume. <clears throat> 
but for some uh, complicated meshes it might be very important to have like a collision box very like a simplified or sometimes not to have it right so it would not be involved in physics simulation anyways so we have a collision around this box and uh, all um, static meshes they can generate different events so this is like a list of events what it can generate and one of the most important ones um, it is like an overlap event so if everything touch will touch this box it will generate overlap event and begin overlap and if it stop touching it will do like a end overlap so let's click on begin overlap it will create the blueprint node <clears throat> and we can just um, print uh, debug print message and uh, and there is a lot of uh, different parameters here which uh, we can uh, get like what components get overlap what actor is like uh, what is other company so like uh, this is the uh, components will point to uh, static mesh right uh, and uh, actor it's our item so uh, we can just get uh, this actor and get the name display name get display name and put it in the uh, debug log so let's see what would happen so um if i bump on this guy nothing happening <laughs> um interesting output log nothing happening um text color print so <clears throat> that's a good opportunity to debug stuff right um so for a lot of things we have like a sort of the matrix or it's called like a collision preset and it says like if when it's going to generate the um, when it's going to generate the messages and i think because it says like a block everything um uh, it's not generating overlap event right so um we can ha have and use like a presets let's like do overlap all for example right so in this case um it's so this is the matrix right so uh this um the cube it has a type uh world world static right and then this checkbox is saying like uh, the cube world static how is going to interact with our types of objects right like uh, it's world static and uh, there is a, like a world static right so with our object which also type of world static it will overlap right and pawn right like uh, my character is a pawn um, object type so it says it will overlap with the character right and all this kind of thing so let's see uh, if it's going to fix our problem with overlapping right so yeah look at this and there is another thing what what we, we can notice now we can go through the through this thing um, which is like i'm not too much concerned because like uh, what we could do instead of um, instead of uh, overlap message we could just do like a on hit probably and it would work right so on component hit and do exactly same uh, blueprint uh other actor get name get display name display now let's just name display name and just put it here and uh, let's remove this thing and uh, for now instead of overlap like now it's not going to work right so just demonstrate it's not working and i'm going through this guy on overlap right so let's return back to block all that um block all i guess what is was uh, block all right um yeah this was block all so let's go back to block all and uh, now it's going to generate heat events see default pawn default pawn so <clears throat> this is the blueprint and this um is uh, demonstrating um events in the blueprint right and also how we are uh gives you understanding like a, about collision presets like a, how it's important <clears throat> um so i'm going to put like a custom one right and uh, just to demonstrate if i switch back to pawn right it will stop generating um events hit events so if i go here i can go through this cube and it's not generating hit events see um even like a, my pawn uh where is it player state default pawn right it says in collision process a pawn and it's want to um block 
uh, with the static objects, right? So I guess they have to kind of match uh, to to be agreed or at least like overlap or something. Or I think uh, that they can, they're thinking like a minimum, minimal. I do not know exactly how it works, but like, because like in this matrix, right? They are disagree, like this, this says like, uh, I'm, I want to block with world static, right? And our one, I'm world, world static, but I want to ignore uh, pawns. So they kind of disagree, and I maybe they just uh, picking like the le least one. So collision part I covered, and now let's talk about delegates. So delegates, it's a C++ way of implementing this simple uh, blueprint, right? So there is an event happened, like an event called uh, component hit and uh, we do some reaction on this event, right? So let's uh, delete this thing. Oh wait, let's let's first uh, recover uh, behavior so it will do stuff, right? So I put like a custom preset and I, I'm going to put overlap all preset, uh, block all preset, right? So let's quickly verify it's working. It's going to show, yeah, default pawn um, messages. And now I'm going to delete this blueprint and implement stuff in C++, right? So this part is kind of hard to find uh, on internet and there is a problem right now. I think um, Epic updated the documentation and uh, even like official documentation doesn't have stuff, right? So if I want to find um, about on component heat and I just go to uh, Google and type on component heat the UE4 C++ so this is the way how I search um, right and this is the documentation I don't know why this thing first anyways <clears throat> on component heat and it's used to have documentation about um, it's like a how to do stuff with this thing and right now it's just like a completely useless so there is a remarks and things but like um, what is the signature and stuff it just like hmm, I don't know so um, the way how I um, handling this problem so I know um, my new object box has um, on component hit event and uh, <clears throat> what I'm doing I'm t typing here on component hit and in C++ it's called in Unreal Engine it's called delegate right uh, so in blueprint it's called event but in c++ it's called delegate and event and delegate is the same thing but in blueprint it's event in the in c++ it's event so add dynamic and uh what we need to put here we need to put the pointer to the object which is this right uh we can put something else but um right now it's going to be this and the uh, name of the method and name of the method going to be start with ampersand because uh, it's going it's a pointer of the method right and uh, name of the method and project box um, let's call it hit something like this um, and uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to create it here void hit and uh, one more thing what I need to add I need to mark it as u function and the thing um, interesting thing I can call it private and it's going to be fine. Uh, okay, and uh, give the, even I do not need to give the implementation right now, so, and I'm just going to try to compile this thing, and it will fail, but like a error message will give me inside what kind of uh, parameters it needs. Um, so on component heat is a part of the um, mesh, not the actor, so I'm going to do mesh. Yeah, here we go. We've got the error code, what I was expecting. And I just look through um, this error code. And uh, as soon as I see like a, this sort of thing, I know this is the list of parameters what it's um, wanted for my function. So, um, and I just add this list of parameters to hit. Unreal Engine, because of U function, wants to name all these parameters. I I honestly just uh, naming them randomly. There is a proper way to do this thing. So you can just look here. So like a hit component, right? So it's like a hit component. And then 
other actor and uh, uh, other component. So I'm just stealing these things from, from the blueprint. Uh, normal impulse and hit, right? And uh, now I can uh, put the implementation so linking would not fail. So right now everything should compile, but it's not going to be very useful, right? I made a typo, okay, it's a simple typo. Okay, so it's compiled, but it's not going to do too much. So um, I'm going to add the log and what I usually do, I'm uh, carrying my own log implementation because I cannot just memorize how to do logs <laughs> and real engine way. So uh, log, get hit message, get hit from, and I'm going to put uh, other actor, get name. Um, and what I, usually I do, I just copy it from my other projects. So um, like from Maroon, for example. So I have log, so there is a these two files and I'm just carrying from project to project. Um, I copied to wrong place though, it's fine. So these two files should be, should go to source call. Okay, and uh, project box. What I'll do, I'll just include log.hpp. So you can um, look, pause the video and look at, at implementation. So here we go. This is the implementation of log HPP file. And this is the implementation of uh, CPP file. Just pause the video and just type it in. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll, I'll put it somewhere like as a gist if, if people would insist to use this thing, but I use this log everywhere. So let's recompile things. Yeah, so there is a one more thing because my log uh, uses C++ 17 features, I have to rebuild everything with C++ 17. And to do this thing, again, I cannot remember things, but I just copy uh, stuff from other projects. So I need to add this thing, C++ standard, CPP standard version, CPP HP game. Pause the video and uh, copy this line. So now it will recompile everything with C++ 17. So for this reason, it takes some time to do this thing. Okay, so it's compiled and uh, everything should uh, work now. So um, I'll save all press play button and let's see um, so we should see message logs here as soon as I hit the box here we go hit get hit from default pawn so we've got the code running in C++ <sighs> this video would be very useful for me then I was um, starting Unreal Engine so hopefully it will um, remove some amount of frustration for you um, one caveat, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's going on because it kind of makes sense to set up delegates in the constructor and I was doing like this thing in the constructor but it, it works sometimes. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> it works once basically. I think it works first time and then second time it doesn't work. So let's see. Oh, it doesn't work first time. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so um, it's crazy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but like, look at this. This is perfect demonstration, doesn't work. So put this thing in the begin play to make um, delegates work. It took forever for me to figure out why delegates are, are not working. So uh, save your time, put things in the begin play. And again, there is no documentation about these things, like why it's a begin play. Here we go, it's working. So <clears throat> second uh, step, uh, I'm going to cover uh, creating custom delegates. So you can create the custom delegates and it is a kind of involving process also. And also there is not too much documentation. So, and uh, of course, I never remember how to do this thing. I just copy pasting this stuff uh, from my previous projects. Like once I figured out, I'm just copy pasting it. And um, <clears throat> so I sh think I should search for param. So because it's like it has like a one param. Yeah. 
Yeah, here we go. So um, I'm not sure why I need it, we see. So this is the way how to um, create a custom delegate. First of all, you need to specify the type <coughs> like uh, of your delegate and uh, what kind of parameters it will take and the name of the type. So uh, first thing, it's uh, this part. And uh, I believe like if you do not want to take any parameters, you can just uh, put it like this and then you give the name of the type of the delegate, right? So like a F project custom event, I, I don't know, right? And um, delegate is going to be here. And this is declaring the type of delegate. It's not going to create any new, add any delegate, right? So now you can add the delegate here and you can just um, put F custom event and uh, get like a custom event. And it would work um, in C++, but the reason why we are creating the list is because we want to uh, have it um, in Blueprint. So we need to add something, some decoration to make it to work in Blueprint, right? So, and uh, of course, I do not remember how to do this thing. So we need to add like a Blueprint assignable. Here. So after I compile this thing, we would be able to add this thing to... Um, so yeah, um, I figured this is useful because um, we can trigger the blueprint code from C++. This is why uh, why it is useful to have custom uh, delegates. Anyways, so um, we call it blueprint assignable. Uh, we try to compile this thing. I do not remember if I compiled it or not. So it's compiled. <clears throat> and um, what I'm going to do on the hit, I'm going to... Uh, call this delegate. So um, it's custom event and to call delegate, we do um, something like this. <laughs> do not remember. Yeah, we do broadcast. Um, because it doesn't have any parameters, we do not put any things. So um, every time then something hit the... Uh, did it crash Unreal Engine? Yeah, it did crash. Um, it happens. Okay. So um, <clears throat> now every time then uh, I hit the cube while uh, in the game, it's going to, oh, there is no cube. Okay, that's fine because here, here you go, there is a cube. Let me quickly fix because it's going to crash a lot. Map and modes, do untitled. Uh, every time then they hit the cube, it will put the message, right? And also trigger the delegate what we just created. So what we can do, we can open Blueprint and uh, in the list here, we should be able to see um, our new delegate, which I'm not seeing. I think uh, I just have to type here custom. Yeah, custom event, look at this. And uh, no, not, not like this thing. Bind custom event to custom event. Add custom event. No. Bind the bind assign custom assign custom event. Oh yeah, here we go. Assign custom event. Oh, took forever for me. And uh, we do this thing on event begin play. So event begin play. We assign uh, our custom event to this thing. And because it doesn't have any parameters, it's just going to do execution. We can just print uh, debug print saying hello. <laughs> so uh, now what's going to happen, right? Like uh, it will start playing. At start play, it will assign this this code to my uh, C++ delegate. And then as soon as I hit the box, it will run this code, print this log thing, and then uh, broadcast the uh, custom event. And this broadcast will trigger this code and print the hello on the screen. So let's... Uh, demonstrate this thing, I hit the box and it's printed the hello in the screen. So quickly I want to show how to add parameters because it's also kind of convoluted. So what you have to do, you have to type here one and then let me look at my reference. And then next thing is going to be type and then name, um, name of parameter. And it's like a comma separated. So um, F string message right so in c++ world it's equivalent of like um, 
I don't know, void f project custom event uh, f string message, something like this, right? But uh, in uh, Unreal Engine world, it's it looks like this. <laughs> um, and now this custom event will um, will uh, expect one parameter, which is uh, f string message f string type method. so we can put here i'll just copy paste and copy paste and put this thing so like a name of the overlapping object hit, uh, hitting object and recompile and it's going to break blueprint and most likely will crash the unreal engine so but it's just reality it just crashes unreal engine all the time it did not crash this time Unreal Engine, which is, uh, but the blueprint is broken right so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to pull from here as a add custom event <clears throat> and uh, now instead of saying hello it will put the name of the object so this is the way how to add multiple parameters in your uh, delegate so default point zero so adding more parameters you just put uh, two params and i think you have to make it plural right and uh, let's do message one and message two something like this and uh, here i can just put like a hit Again, it most likely will crash the Unreal Engine, but we can be lucky. Uh, yeah, I have to put like a text. Uh, message 1, oh wait a second. Oh, message 2, oh, my bad. Um, it's going to break, oh, it did not break this time, that's interesting. Whoa. Okay, um, so bind event, add bind event to custom event, assign custom event, bind event, bind or assign, oh yeah, assign, so, okay, <laughs> assign, why there is only one message, what's going on, I'm expecting to have two, so let's restart Unreal Engine, I think it's kind of get confused with all these compilations, so uh, this project okay and uh, click on project box so on the begin play assign custom event yeah it was confused so unreal engine like this you're learning so message one message two print three and then i want to format it format and let's format it like uh, message one message one message to message to and maybe we can just put quotes here just for fun okay and so go here ah uh, not format text for string where is the format string hmm it does do format text only okay that's fine message one message two and here cool so let's see let's test it out yeah message one hit message two default point zero so that's it this is like a um, very short tutorial about collisions and uh, events and delegates and this is the one of the most important parts of unreal engine you have to uh, use this thing you will use this thing a lot and you have to per perfect uh, usage of this thing and get like a good understanding how delegates and how uh, collisions are uh, working in unreal engine Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Consider like it, comment, subscribe, do your thing to kind of boost the video. Uh, see you next time. Bye.